Frostpunk is the first society survival game. As the ruler of the last city on Earth, it is your duty to manage both its citizens and its infrastructure. What decisions will you make to ensure your society's survival? What will you do when pushed to the breaking point? Who will you become in the process? If there's one thing 11-bit studios does perfectly, it's creating a great atmosphere. From the chimney to the snow, to the people walking through the snow, everything feels extremely immersive. The game runs super smooth and you can almost feel the cold in your face. And it's not just the visuals that make you feel immersed with the world, it's also the decisions you'll have to make. For example, one of the first decisions you can make is to legalize child labor, essentially. You can also choose to keep the kids safe. However, letting them work for you gives you great advantages that you might need to survive all the storms. All these decisions will influence the discontent and the hope of your citizens, which will make the game more difficult or easier for you. So decisions matter in this game. You have a lot of buildings that look pretty cool. The game itself looks absolutely amazing. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's kind of sad that you can't scroll in more than you can to see more detail, but I guess the details aren't there and that's why you don't see them. However, what you see is absolutely amazing. However, some of the drawbacks in this game are also very prevalent. For example, if you have Nahimic, audio on your PC, the intro will stutter and any cutscene will stutter and that's really really annoying. And that's just really annoying and it's really sad. But you can just turn it off and then it works just fine. Something else that kind of bothers me is there's a hard cap on the amount of citizens you have. So if you're playing endless modes there is kind of an end because you can't get that many people. I did expect there to be a hard limit but I expected it to be a bit higher. Also the entire game is basically in the pit that you see from the start. So so it doesn't get much bigger than that, so you don't have that many options. There's also different scenarios and of course the previously mentioned endless mode. However, I haven't seen many people more than 20, 30, 40 hours in the game, which is still quite a lot, but considering there's so many different scenarios and the endless mode, you'd expect that to be a lot higher, which kind of indicates that after playing it once or twice through all the way you're kind of finished with the game which is not really very promising for a game that essentially should have endless playability however that doesn't take away that what you play is absolutely amazing i think it just gets very repetitive because you essentially just do the same over and over and over again until you either lose all your people, you die, or you win. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'm sorry it took so long to get this one out. Uh, I was sick for a while and whatever, it's fine. Um, I did want to mention that this is the last video I'll make in this format. I'll switch it up a little bit because I noticed that even I get a bit bored of listening to these videos because there's I'm not adding any interesting stuff and I kind of want to make them more interesting than just um, just description of the game because I don't want to make reviews because why would I and I don't want to um, make like a critique or an essay or whatever I kind of want to have my own thing so I kind of have to switch it up but anyway thank you very much for watching and listening and I hope you'll have a great day and a great week